Welcome to this week's episode. We're here in the Maldives after quite a number of days of traveling. How many countries did we go through? Four. Four. <laughs> Took us three days to get here, but we have some footage from a few weeks ago. We went out for a night dive with Blue Water Divers, where we went and checked out the Hermes and also Southwest Breaker. And it was the first time you get to dive Southwest Breaker at night. Yeah, it was epic. So let's roll that footage and let's go see how it is. He's gone with me. I'm getting Nico. <laughs> Next to just comes with it. Nico! Bye! Uh, intro, please. I. I can't do an intro. This is like, this is like the Dale thing again. Dale, you put me on the that spot. That was so funny. Turn those around. Mark's starting a scuba only. Scuba only fans. Scuba only fans. Only fans. Just Give just a little stun, run. Everybody right there. Just only stun, fans so. have changed their thing is, I might actually end up getting censored for ch like, <laughs> inappropriate content. I know. It's yeah. too hot. Sorry. Oh, nice. <laughs> 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 Actually, the note you were actually videoing. 100% I was videoing it. That's not going to come back to bite me in the ass at all. Oh, no, well, you got a nice ass. It's okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As we drop down onto the Hermes for our sunset dive on the wreck, you can see Holly is practicing single handed bubble rings and she finally nails one. As Josh starts looking back towards Nesta to check he's all good to head towards the wreck. As you can see, Nesta is all smiles, waving away happy as we drop on to the Hermes. I know this wreck has been appearing a lot in videos recently, but as you can imagine, we dive this wreck a lot during the year. Maybe a couple, of time, a couple of hundred times a year, but we start heading into the wreck and you never know, even when you're diving a wreck so many times, what might appear out as we start heading towards the engine room. And what I love when it's sunset is how the light is coming through the holes and the gaps in the wreck, giving it a very eerie look, especially the torches lighting up as Josh comes in and blinds us with Holly holding her face saying, oh, I'm being blinded, and Nick coming in behind with his laser. It was almost like a big party, a big show, maybe being a nightclub with all those lights flashing around and the air lasers flashing around as well. As you can see, Dwayne is coming up at the engine room, but we continue heading along. As you can see, we have a lot of divers in the wreck, but it's bringing up really cool light and the visuals with all the torches and the sunset in the background coming onto the wreck as well. And next thing, up pops Holly. She decides to blind me, clearly paying me back for the recently for blinding her. And as we come through the wreck, I'm going to stop the music just coming up because the sheer volume and loudness of the rain, we're sitting about 20 meters in depth and you can hear the rain like it's a big storm above us, but it's only a squall, but it's really cool to hear. But 
how cool is that noise they're making under the water? It's so loud and you can see, hear Holly saying it is raining so clearly with a reg at the mouth. I don't know how she can speak underwater where the rest of us all sound gargly good. But we continue heading across. Nick spots a great barracuda cruising along the reef. And as you go along this dive site, you normally get loads and loads of barracuda. Because a few weeks ago we were diving the site and we had heaps of barracuda. And I did a video on that, which I'll tag just above for you guys. But I love exploring this wreck because you can see how it just sits in the coral and it's just full of marine life and just looking up the mask is always a great opportunity to spot maybe barracuda or Bermuda chub or even some snappers because there's normally loads and loads of life circling around the mass of this wreck. As you can see, we're about 20 meters and you can see the boat is clearly above us because visibility on this dive was epic. As Holly is giggling, I've stuck her SMB on the back of Nesta and Nesta hasn't even realized. We're all just having fun at the safety stop and Nesta is doing a dance off against Holly. So let us know who you think won the dance off between the two of them in the comments below. But stay around for the next dive because we're about to head towards Southwest Breaker to go dive this recite at night and do some biofluorescence. I didn't see it. Because like, ah. normally if you go around there you find Lancaster from that wee path, that's why I thought we'd go over there. Yeah, I was looking at the other side. <laughs> Nesta. Yeah, I'll bet later. I put Holly's yeah. SMBs on the back of he you. He was like 15 minutes. <laughs> it matters worse. I saw another one missed on that too. So oh, really? Oh, I've man. also really I've taken Dirk's oh, SMB uh, and I put I it on know, Dwayne. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Nesta. Spin round. <laughs> oh, I got it on you. Fair play. You're a good sport, man. I'll give you this. <laughs> Good times, mate. Good times. <laughs> Your SMB is on Dwayne. Right now, can you look down? Yeah. Your SMB is on Dwayne. Did you come off? No, I, I took it off you and put it on Dwayne. <laughs> For the second dive, we drop onto Southwest Breaker, and there's so many divers on the boat tonight. There may be about 20, and you can just see there's lights everywhere, and everyone had the blinkers on as well, so it was like a big night show. But the other people weren't too sure which way the breaker was, so they all started following behind me. So that's why you can see there's loads and loads of divers coming in behind as we come across a swimming shrimp out in the open, which is really cool to see. And as Holly is coming through the top of the breaker, you can just see all the lights coming through from all the divers, which is illuminating it really, really cool. It almost looks like you're indoors, but believe it or not, we're actually just coming out of a breaker in an open part, but it's just divers everywhere. And then Nesta is signaling that he wants to go by a fluorescence. So we turn the lights off and put the blue light on with the yellow filter over the camera that makes the coral pop because the biofluorescence is out of our visual spectrum. So instead of using a UV light, which a lot of people use, we use blue LED lights to protect the coral. A UV light will actually burn the coral, kind of like how sun does to your skin if you're ever at the beach or just out on the boat, how it burns you the UVs. It's the same with coral as well. So we use blue lights and put the yellow filter on to make it all pop and come up. Now how biofluorescence is created it's very similar to how we have sunscreen almost so the corals use a process of photosynthesis to absorb the sunlight during the day but then during the night they release it and radiate it back out to act as a form of sunscreen so this is why you get this really stunning coral pop coming on now as you can see 
I am swapping between white light and blue light and putting the filter over so you guys can see the impact of the coral with just under a normal white light just now. Then I put the yellow filter back over the front of the GoPro and put the blue light back on and it just comes up and pops the coral. It's really cool to see. If you guys have ever done a biofluorescence dive, then comment below to us what you thought of it and where you did it and what colours you saw. And if not, then I highly recommend you guys go do a biofluorescent dive because it will blow your mind. As you can see, Holly has now got the yellow filter on her mask and the blue light and she's just going around looking at all the corals. Well, there's divers galore behind her with white lights. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you in the next one.